From the one and only, this is a Local 10 News Update, sponsored by Wellmax Medical Centers. Good afternoon, South Florida. I'm Christy Krueger. Here's a look at some stories making news on this Tuesday, July the 5th. A popular seafood restaurant in Palmetto Bay went up in flames. Now we're learning fireworks may be to blame. Viewers sent us some video from last night showing flames billowing from a tiki roof at the Golden Rule Seafood Restaurant located at South Dixie Highway and East Evergreen Street. The fire smoldering again this morning. The main part of the restaurant is okay, but the outdoor area was definitely charred. And Lauder Hill and Sunrise units responded to a fire last night as well. This one happened in the 2100 block of Northwest 59th Terrace. Officials telling us the fire was possibly again sparked by fireworks landing on a balcony. A man was taken to the hospital with some minor injuries. And a driver slamming into a home in North Miami. Neighbors say they woke up, woke up to a loud sound about 3 in the morning. A huge gaping hole was in this house along Northwest 125th Street and 13th Avenue. The car is no longer at the scene and it's unclear if anyone got hurt. We're also hearing from the twin brother of the man shot and killed at the Clevelander Hotel last week. Dion Moore was an employee at that popular South Beach spot. Police say a man identified as Brandon Burroughs was trying to sneak into the hotel's nightclub when he was confronted by Moore, and that's when an altercation began. That escalated. That fight did to some deadly gunfire. Police say Moore was shot six times. As breaking news happens, we have you covered both on air and online. Head to local10.com for more local news coverage and updates all day long. Have a great afternoon.